Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's second video, doing the extended European outlook for today's second video. So, as always, on a Wednesday, well, at the moment on a Wednesday, it's normally on a Tuesday, but for the time being, we're doing this on a Wednesday. So, um, for the time being, as always, on a Wednesday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the next 30 days, slash uh, four weeks across Europe. We will look at weeks five and six data as well. And I shall get on to that for you in a moment. Just to say back the first video of our 6 of UK weather forecast. We've got a verification for the summer 2024 forecast coming up for you uh, early this afternoon. And then we're going to be live streaming at 6pm. We're going to do our Wednesday evening live stream. So we're going to do everything that we would do in a regular 10 to 14 day video upload. The only difference is that we're going to do it live for you uh, from 6pm tonight. Um, and of course, after stream, people will then be able to watch it back as a regular video. Anyway, please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much to ECMDF.INT for supplying the charts with the as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Right, let's do this thing. Let's start off with week one, mean sea level pressure. And not taking us through the week we're currently in, which is the 23rd, 30th of September. Looks pretty unsettled across much of Europe this week. Low pressure dominating across the um, northern, western, and central, even to some southern areas. We have got some high pressure blocking up towards Greenland and Iceland. And there's a ridge down towards Spain. Portugal as well, that's Azores high of course, and got high pressure over towards the west of Russia. How the 500 millibar height's looking. Again, they look pretty unsettled across particularly the north and the west of Europe with lots of below average heights, low pressure through there, higher pressure above average heights through the south and also into the far eastern region as well, also with some blocking up towards Greenland and Iceland. Right, well, temperature anomaly of this week is showing a proper old east-west split. So it's colder than average through the uh, western part of Europe, and it's warmer than average in the east. So we go up towards um, Iceland and towards Norway. That's where the coldest anomalies to average happen to be, around 3 to 6 degrees below normal. But more widely across Europe, we see temperature uh, anomalies around 1 to 3 degrees below average anyway so uh, a pretty cool week this week across much of uh, northwest europe the divide is somewhere around central parts of germany and uh, the east of sweden so anywhere to the east of that it goes more than average particularly in the far eastern portion of europe which uh, includes of course the black sea ukraine Belarus and the into the northwest of Russia. Also, some of the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania. And they're about three to six degrees above average. But as Southern Europe is concerned, so anybody going on holiday to the central western part of the Mediterranean, slightly cooler than average. Some, of course, just Sardinia and Italy, east of degrees of Turkey. It's above average through there. How's rainfall looking? Check this out. Wetter than average through much of northern. And also uh, Western Europe, particularly wet through northern parts of Spain and Portugal, the bulk of France and into the low country, Belgium, Holland and Netherlands, and into Germany as well, and down to uh, the Alpine region of northern parts of Italy. Flooding rains through there. And going northwards, where we see about uh, England and Wales, possibly far south by them, coming out quite wet as well. And that extends up into Scandinavian regions, particularly Sweden, but also parts of uh, also parts of uh, Finland. And even into the Baltic Sea states, uh, we actually see the wet of an average condition um, through there. In the far west and northwest, it's actually drier than normal. That's where the blocking high pressure is. And that's around Iceland, of course, and like to the far west of Scotland. Or whatnot. And then into the uh, Mediterranean, well, it's not too wet actually. So, northern and western Spain, Portugal, wet through there, but eastern and southern Spain, uh, the holiday areas really uh, looking quite dry. Much of the central part of the Med, relatively dry as well. Uh, a little bit more unsettled for Italy, but Greece looking um, pretty dry too. Okay, well, that's week one done. Week two will be the 30th of September to the 7th of October. And it's staying unsettled through particularly the north and the west of Europe. Low pressure centred over top of the UK and Ireland. But you see general sort of lowish pressure 
through uh, much of Europe, all over the place. What about the five, 500 bit all over the place? What's he on about? That's not <laughs> very scientific, is it? Um, no, uh, so the 500 bit of our height anomaly for week two, again, does look very, very unsettled, though, in the north and west of Europe. The far south looking a bit drier and also into the extreme eastern portion as well. How's the temperature anomaly looking? Largely on the cool side in those places, with a few exceptions. So the exceptions really are about are, are around the Baltic Sea and the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, down to the Black Sea also, and uh, eastern portions of Ukraine included in that. Also, some of the Greek islands and maybe Turkey, relatively warm through there or warmer than average. North Africa, also warmer than average, and possibly the far south of Spain. Bear the exceptions. Most other areas have below average temperatures next week. Ireland, the UK, France, below countries, into Germany, on to Poland. I mean, southeast was through the Balkans, the central portion of the Med, Italy, um, Corsica, Sardinia, uh, for example. All those areas are coming out with cooler than average temperature. So quite widespread cool temperatures um, next week. Rainfall-wise, the wettest weather is in the northwest, particularly focused around Ireland, the UK, northern France, Denmark, and southern parts of Norway and Sweden. So that's where you see the wettest conditions. There is also some wet weather over towards the Black Sea as well, which is southern Europe relatively dry, so not too bad down in the May, just about managing to hold on to driest conditions through there. And then we've got the far northeast of Europe through both Baltic Sea states to the west of Russia, looking drier than normal. Could be very wet, though, for Ireland and the UK there, I think. Week 3 will be the 7th to the 14th of October. Not as clear-cut an anomaly, but still looking pretty unsettled, I think, across uh, much of the Europe there. 500 millibar heights look like that. So a ridge over on the eastern side and out in the North Atlantic. Some sort of lower pressure, maybe, though, through here. Temperature anomaly so quite a big warm up through um, much of Europe. So anywhere from about Germany eastwards, looks like it's warming up there through uh, the third week, uh, particularly so in the east of the northeast of Europe. Um, out west, though, it is cooler still through there, not as clear cut, cool, but nevertheless, Ireland, the UK, much of France, down into Portugal, northern Spain, and possibly the central part of the Med. Uh, still looking a little bit cool there, of those southern parts of Spain and into North Africa, relatively warm through there. And for precipitation, well, it's a weakening seal because we're going further out, but still the general sort of idea is there, isn't it, for the far north and northwest to be more unsettled. So sort of southern, northern Sweden, again, probably down to Denmark, through the low countries, maybe the west of Germany, particularly into France, and maybe up to the UK uh, and Ireland, especially for England and Wales, looks wetter than average through those areas. Down in the south, that's where the driest weather is, through the central portion of the Med, and over to the east of Med, in towards uh, the Greek islands, looking generally on the uh, warmer side through there, and on the dry side through there, I should say, and uh, relatively dry up towards um, Iceland as well. Weakening signals, of course, just going further and further out. Week 4 is the 14th, 21st of October. Oh, this is a bit of a change. So now we start to see some low, low pressure more towards the eastern side of Europe. Could heights be starting to rise through here, maybe? Well, let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights. No, it doesn't really show that. What it does show is uh, high pressure still down into the med, towards northern parts of Africa, and some blocking up here as well, which is quite interesting. You would think that underneath that there will be some low pressure, really, but it doesn't show that to a great degree. Temperature anomaly still remains warmest across these more central and eastern portions of Europe. Coolest, although not necessarily that cool, but coolest through the uh, west of north of Europe, which is southern Europe, looking generally uh, warm there. 
and rainfall wise for week four. Oh, it's still pretty unsettled though, doesn't it? This could be turning out to be a very wet October through uh, much of Northern and Western Europe in particular. The difference is that the wet, wetter weather is extending more towards the eastern, northeastern portions of Europe as well. Um, no, to me, to me, I mean, this is just an interpretation it's before we, but to me, that looks a little bit like there's going to be low pressure through here and possibly high pressure through there. Um, and if that happens, you know, uh, then what we'll, what we do is we will start to pull in some quite cold air through the north and the west, western portion of Europe. So, you know, it doesn't show that particularly, um, but that would be my interpretation of how those wet and average anomalies are setting up. Anyway, it's also very unsettled October, I have to say this. Right, well, let's have a look at weeks five and six data. That's your first day look okay, done. Let's have a look at weeks five and six data before we go. So, week five will be the 21st, 28th of October. Uh, more changes. High pressure down towards Spain, Portugal, then that's the Azores high. So, that's going to try and bring milder air into the north and the west of Europe, I would have thought. The 500 millibar height, uh, well, it doesn't really show that. <laughs> it actually shows higher pressure towards the far east of Europe and in the middle of the Atlantic. Um, so that appears to be slightly at odds. Um, temperature anomalies, warmest again in the far eastern and northeastern portions of Europe elsewhere. A uh, little bit on the cooler side, and rainfall-wise, rain week five, no signal uh, of any use could be gleaned. And then finally, week six, we the 28th of October, 4th of November. Nothing really useful there from mean sea level pressure anomaly. Not much of use for 500 millibar heights, other than there is quite a strong ridge in the far north and northeast Europe, potentially the high, the Siberian high beginning to uh, get going there uh, to some degree. What about the temperature anomaly? Well, again, it remains warm in the far north and northeast. Otherwise, um, you know, it's a weak signal. And rainfall-wise, well, very weak signal, but possibly uh, wetter towards the far east and southeastern corner and maybe in the extreme northwest as well. But as I say, very, very weak signals that you see there, as always, weeks five and six. Right, that's your 30-day look again done. And dust it, it if you enjoyed the forecast, but if you'd like to share and subscribe. And we'll do it all over again next Wednesday. We'll look at this model again for a um, UK and Ireland focus video, and that will be on Friday evening this week. Uh, right then, so you're going to be back at 6pm with your Wednesday evening live stream, but before then, we've got a little extra bonus video coming up, which is the spring 2024, for, uh, no, the summer 2024 forecast verification, what are you on about, yeah, summer 2024 forecast verification, and uh, that'll be coming up probably about an hour or so time, something like that, early this afternoon anyway. So, um, I'll see you later for live, but for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.